in your opinion, why do people respond more positively to disabled influencers compared to all other influencers? So I can only speak specifically about my own research. In my own research, I looked at consumer responses or perceptions of products pr promoted by disabled influencers. I looked specifically at the perceived luxury of these products. What I found in my research was that consumers perceive disabled influencers as more unique than they perceive non-disabled influencers. So that was one thing, right? And then using the theory um, of psychological contagion, which is uh, basically describing the transfer of essence between people and products, I found that this uniqueness associated with influencers also transfers to the product promoted by these influencers. And since existing research shows a connection between uniqueness and luxury, if you look at, at this whole chain of events that I just described, essentially the outcome is that consumers perceive products promoted by, dis by disabled influencers as more luxurious than they perceive products uh, promoted by non-disabled influencers, right? And again, as I said, this is driven by influencer uniqueness. And then I also wanted to take this a step further. I wanted to look at a more concrete outcome. And since again, prior research shows us that perceived luxury is usually connected with greater willingness to pay for the product, because obviously if you think that something is more luxurious, you are typically willing to pay more for it. So taking this a step further, I also show that consumers are willing to pay more for products promoted by disabled influencers as opposed to the products promoted by non-disabled influencers. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So how do brands approach working with disabled influencers differently? So I would really say that looking at past examples, brands mainly work with disabled to be perceived as more inclusive if they really want to show that representation matters, right? Because if you look at the statistics, I think 16% of the world's population is disabled, but when you look at marketing and advertising campaigns, you will not see so many disabled people being represented in those campaigns, right? So if a brand works uh, with a disabled influencer, they're really sending a signal like we are trying to really increase the representation of disabled people in our campaign. 